full view of the undercut tool. The tool has several component parts. At the end of the tool on your left are the undercut blades. These blades cut the concrete to accept the conical nut after the nut has been drawn into the expansion sleeve. Next is the pivot pin. The pivot pin allows the blades to extend from and be retracted into the shaft of the undercut tool. The second pin is called the cam pin. The cam pin holds the ends of the undercut blades in the proper operating position. Moving to the right, we see the bearing sleeve. The sleeve is used as an embedment depth gauge and to allow rotation of the cutting tool. The sleeve can be adjusted to different embed depth requirements. To adjust the sleeve, use a pair of snap ring pliers to remove both snap rings. Then move the sleeve to the desired location on the shaft and reinstall the snap rings in the proper grooves. Here is the indicator pin. This indicator pin provides indication of how far the undercut blades are extended from the tool shaft. When the indicator pin is at the end of its travel toward the bearing sleeve, the blades are fully extended. When the indicator pin is at the end of its travel toward the drive end, the blades are fully retracted. Last is the machine adapter for the drive end of the undercut tool. Various adapters are available with machined ends to fit most hammer drills. This end of the adapter is threaded to fit the undercut tool. The other end is a spline shaft to fit our hammer drill. These adapters are easily removed and reinstalled.